What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. Today we have Madison Beer here, everybody. Too high? Do it oh. lower. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. <laughs> Today we have Madison Beer here. You didn't like that one, Jay? No, you're right. I was wrong. <laughs> the first one? Yeah, I was wrong. She's a singer, songwriter, and she has an album coming out February 26th, and she's here, which is sick and super exciting. Um, I actually met Madison. Well, I tweeted at Madison um, like five, six years ago. I just tweeted at her saying, um, I love you. You, you're beautiful. That's, that's what I said. And, this is like uh, 2015. Yeah, it was maybe. a long time ago. Yeah. And Madison fucking liked the tweet and she followed me back. And I have no recollection of this. Like, cause well, of like, course, because fucking thousands of people tweeted no, that No, but it's not you. like I was liking and following back a bunch of people. You so probably I saw my like... profile picture and you probably saw a future. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely <laughs> what it was. But like, in true Madison form, you love so nerds. It's so weird. Yeah, no, 100%. She's like, hey, this guy looks like a fucking loser. <laughs> I love him. I want to follow him. <laughs> you have a soft spot for losers. <laughs> of course I do. Yeah, that's well, nice. it's not losers. I just like, people always make fun of me because people are like, "Who are your celebrity crushes?" And I'm like, "They're nerdy." David Dobrik, Bo Burnham, and like Nathan Fielder and Matthew Gray like, Goobler. What? Matthew Gray Goobler. Don't even talk about him. Sorry, right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's super obvious that you're into personality, and that's important. But what's your favorite body part on a guy? And maybe hair. I'm like a big like. Fuck. I like. I know <laughs> the thing hair. I'm losing. <laughs> 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 Off the table. What's your favorite body part on a girl? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have as much to work with. That's fair. There's girls have a lot more to work with. Okay, back to how we met. So she followed me, and then whatever. Time went by like three, four, five, probably six years. A long time went by. Yeah. And we were at the VMAs or something in New York. VMAs. Oh, I need to contextualize this with the fact that I had never seen one of his videos. No offense. Maybe three days before the VMAs, my friend oh. Sam was watching. All I heard, I was I would staying at his house, and all I heard was do 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 do, and I was like, "What is this that he's watching every single day?" And it was so annoying. I was like, "I don't know what this is." And I went out, and I was like, "What are these videos with this intro?" And they're like, "You've never seen a David Dobrik vlog?" I'm like, "No." And then I just dove into every single one of your videos. So it was weird that I ended up seeing. Also, the only reason I went up to you and like freaked out was because I just began my obsession with you. you so were like, three days before. Yes, literally. Oh, so I was fresh on your mind. Fresh, like I was on a David wow. Dobrik kick, and wow, then I this see is you. Perfect timing. For I'm like, I remember I turned my publicist. I was like, is that David Dobrik? And she's like, who? She was like, I think so. <laughs> and then I was like, I have to say something. I must. So then we're at the carpet. And then Madison, like, I see her. I think we make eye contact. And then I turn to Jason. I'm like, Madison Beer. It's Madison Beer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I turn back around and, like, pretend like I'm, like, fucking changing the ISO on my camera, which yeah, I'm not doing you anything. Were doing something. Which David doesn't know how to work the ISO. On <laughs> I was fucking panicking and then um and then uh, and then yeah you walked up to me yeah. and she was a fan i was like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> i was like what the fuck it was like the cr- it was like winning the lottery i was like can i have a number you were like yeah no yes sure I do, do i have a number i have a number I but then i was it. surprised because i don't know why like i thought you were not gonna hang out with me i don't think i'm cool at all so i was like he's not gonna actually like hit me up and then i remember after the event i think i texted you something like like where you at or something. Wait, who texted who first? I think I definitely texted you first. Maybe you did. I don't remember, but I just remember we ended up having like a really cute night and we just like hung out for like hours Yeah, bro, in she invited me over. I was at fucking dinner. Like after the VMAs. <laughs> it was just us two and we literally bonded so hard, I feel like. She texted me. She's like, you want to come by? Like my apartment's like, it was fucking like 1030 at night, Jay. I was like, what yeah. the fuck's going on? That definitely probably seemed really sus. It was very late and I'm like, and I'm like, playing it cool i don't want to brag that madison's texting me and like i have my friends next to me we're at dinner i was like fuck it i gotta show at least one of them here and i was like look who's texting me and they're like, <laughs> that's so funny because i was geeked they're like dude are you fucking kidding me they were so fucking stoked for me i remember literally you didn't leave till like 4 a.m i didn't know like i think we talked about this before but like i didn't know if i was going there because it was so late like were we going to hook up okay s- stop <laughs> 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 